Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Europe and the United States believe that semiconductor technology is a tool to suppress the development of the Chinese market. For those Western companies that have maintained price advantages for a long time, they have the attitude of someone will take it if you don't want it and control the core technology. However, the cash cow semiconductor industry has not been doing well this year, and the revenue of established companies such as the United States and South Korea has also been flashing. At that time, European and American countries remembered the goodness of China. Not only did they relax chip restrictions, but even the Dutch lithography giant ASML ignored the US government's sales to China ban. Unfortunately, this time China not only extended an olive branch, but also made important breakthroughs in screen lithography, launched a counterattack against Europe and the United States, and tried to limit its profits to the minimum. The both ends of European and American integrated circuits are facing difficulties. According to the company's second quarter results, AMD's revenue fell by 9%, compared with the previous year's revenue, from $789 million last year to $139 million, in response to the core restriction order. Micron Technologies sales fell 46.86%. An American graphics display equipment manufacturer and the three major companies in the European and American memory industries. Well-known semiconductor companies such as Intel and Qualcomm have also announced discouraging results, so external media have said, the winter of chips has arrived. At that time, Western countries vigorously supported China's high-tech companies and imposed various restrictions on China's semiconductor industry, causing Chinese companies to turn to European and American companies. However, they eventually collapsed due to the loss of the Chinese market. Under this circumstance, the US government has adopted a rare low-key attitude and plans to relax chip controls on China. The Biden administration has stated that the Biden administration intends to expand the import exemption period for Chinese semiconductor products, including Samsung, Hynix and TSMC. However, the expected northward and counteroffensive did not appear, and China actively cut its feet to fit its shoes, which can be said to have been hit both internally and externally. According to custom statistics, in the first quarter, China's chip imports were only 108.2 billion pieces, a year-on-year -year decrease of 32.1 billion pieces. It is obvious that China's approach to foreign chips has changed from forcibly reducing imports to actively reducing dependence on China. The source of China's confidence is undoubtedly semiconductor technology and the breakdown of good news. This is a very interesting point. Story It is reported that Kunshan Xingde Company in China recently announced the first set of SME lithography machines produced by Shanghai Microelectronics Company and held a formal startup ceremony. The emergence of the first domestically produced lithography equipment means that China has made a leap from zero to one. The era of European an American country's monopoly on the semiconductor industry is about to end, and Chinese companies will gradually get rid of their dependence on European countries. In the field of semiconductor industry, China is gradually becoming the center. For a long time, 
The chip manufacturing processes of European and American countries have become the weapons of Chinese companies. The United States has imposed chip sanctions on Huawei four times in 2019, dwarfing Kirin chips that were originally comparable to Qualcomm, Apple A and other chips, in order to prevent China from developing in the semiconductor field, China united Japan and the Netherlands to form the US. The Three Nation Alliance of Japan Japan and the Netherlands wants to prevent China from developing in the field of high-end semiconductors. However, no difficulty can defeat the Chinese. Under the US blockade of Huawei, Huawei began its own chip manufacturing journey until 2022. By 2022, the domestic production of EDA software for 14 nanometers and above will be completed, which will make up for China's major gap in the field of integrated circuits. The flow of high-end semiconductor equipment has been hindered, and China has reduced prices of domestic lithography equipment, forcing the Netherlands to wean Nick, chairman of lithography giant ASML, revealed that 100 lithography machines have been sold to China. In N.I. Guangyin's words, the most basic technology cannot be bought by others. Only by possessing its own core technology can Chinese companies truly not be afraid of various sanctions from the West and can also bring cutting-edge technologies from Europe and the United States. Technology has brought down the altar. The cutting-edge technology unique to Europe and the United States can only be limited by the scythe of other countries. China's independently developed chips are easier said than done. From 2022 to the end of April this year, the number of domestic chips has been reduced by 120 billion, and this gap has been opened by itself. Replace the chip. Therefore, all semiconductor giants, including Intel, have experienced declines in revenue and shipments. In response, foreign semiconductor companies are struggling, China will not buy Chinese chips. The development of China's semiconductor industry will not stop due to the core restrictions. Bill Gates believes that the today's nuclear order, established by the United States, is the result of the measures taken by the United States and that China has made progress in its semiconductor technology. In fact, the technological blockade imposed by Europe and the United States on China's semiconductor industry has accelerated the development of its technology in a sense. Harbin Institute of Technology successfully developed DPPUV and domestic 7 nanometers lithography equipment. Tsinghua University joined hands with Hua's Huo Jingyan launched Double Ping, which defeated the Dutch ASML company's monopoly on China's semiconductor industry in one fell swoop, making it the most advanced semiconductor manufacturing company in the world.